Hey everyone and welcome back. My name is Amy, for those of you who are new and might not know that yet. And for those of you who are returning, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate it. Today's video is the first video in my money managing mini series, which is gonna be a beginner's guide to budgeting, saving money, money saving hacks, all of those really useful things for those of you out there who just cannot seem to get control of your finances or just don't know where to start. Four years ago, I had approximately zero pound in my bank account and that was actually a step up because when I finished university, I had minus 3,000 pound in my bank account. I was 3,000 pound overdrawn. I had no idea or concept of how I was ever gonna be able to pay that off. I did, thankfully, but even after that, I was still terrible with money. I was pretty much the definition of living paycheck to paycheck and wasting my money on every conceivable thing that one could waste their money on. But over the last few years, I've really gotten a handle on my money. I have completely changed my relationship with budgeting and saving and how I use my money. And I finally got myself to a place of real financial security and it feels freaking amazing. I want everybody to feel that happy and excited about money and to not lay awake at night feeling completely overwhelmed and filled with dread and worry, which is how I used to feel a few years ago. So I'm hoping that this money managing series will really help you guys out there who just feel confused, lost, like you don't know where to start. And today I'm gonna to be sharing the absolute basics, which is gonna be how to make a budget and actually stick to it. I've designed these steps to be as minimal and easy to follow as possible. These are actually the exact same steps that I took when I was first starting to manage my finances. So I've lived through this. I know that this is like a really easy to follow system, but I also know that this video is going to be packed full of information and it might feel a little bit overwhelming. So what I've done is I've written up a blog post to go along with this video. I'm gonna link it in the description box down below. So when you're done watching this, if you feel a little bit like maybe you've forgotten something or you wanna go back and just go through the steps again, then they will all be listed in that blog post just to make things a little bit easier. And I've also included a free printable for you guys over on that blog post. And it is, again, the exact same budgeting spreadsheet that I used for years when I was first getting into budgeting and learning how to manage my money. That spreadsheet saved me in many ways and definitely made the whole budgeting process a lot easier for me to get on board with. So I'm super excited to share that with you guys. Like I said, it's in that link in the description box down below. But for now, let's get into the steps that you can follow to set yourself up a monthly budget that you can actually stick to each month. So the first thing you need to do before you even begin to think about allotting your money to different places and how much you wanna save each month and what your budget is actually gonna look like, I really encourage you to just track your spending first. Your regular spending that you're already doing, even if you know that you're overspending on frivolous, ridiculous items, track that. Take a week or two and record every single thing that you spend money on during that time. I know how daunting that can be. Nobody wants to be confronted with how much money they actually spend on Costa Coffee each week. But until you really look your finances in the face and find out where your money is going each week, you're really not gonna be able to set clear goals for yourself. And also, this is an excellent way to just like Get you senseless. Coffee here, a pizza there, a pair of shoes when you fancy a treat for yourself, and none of those things seem like extravagant purchases, but when you add it all up and work out how much you're spending in an average week, times that by 52, and see how much you're actually spending on Starbucks over the course of a year, it can change your life. So once you've spent a week or two tracking your purchases and confronting the reality of where your money is actually going, then you can get into setting up your budget. Now the first thing you need to do is to work out your regular necessary expenses because the sad fact of the world is there are some things you just have to pay for. So those things are gonna be like rent, insurance, 
car payments if you have a car. All of those regular expenses that you have to pay for every month to make your life work. And most of these expenses will be the same amount every month, like your rent doesn't fluctuate, but maybe your utility bills will. So give yourself just an average idea of how much that is month per month, because those kinds of things can fluctuate, but just take an average for the purposes of this step. So total up all of those necessary expenses for the month and then take those away from your monthly income and what you have left is like your money pot. But we're not gonna spend the entire money pot on fun things like ice cream and shoes. No, we're gonna be responsible with our money and the next step that we're gonna do is set aside savings. Only you can decide how much of that money pot you are going to set aside for savings. For me personally, I take 50% and that goes into savings every month. But if the cost of living where you are is particularly high, then maybe you can't take 50% of that to put into savings. Whereas if you earn a big salary every month, then maybe you can afford to put in more, like 60, 75% every month. But you're gonna have to sit down and do the math and work out how much of that is going into your savings every month. The really important thing about savings, and savings are important, is that they're not an afterthought. Savings are like a monthly payment that you make to yourself, just like the monthly payment that you make for your electricity and your water. It's important. Don't rob your future self of money. So the first thing you should do when you get your income every month is to pay off your bills and pay into your savings account that set amount that you decided on. When you look at my budgeting worksheet later on, when you go and take a look at that, you will see that savings fall under the category of regular expenses. It's not, well, if I have any money left over, I'll put it in my savings. It's like, no, I am saving this much money every month and it's going into my savings account before I get a chance to spend it. Okay, so the next step, you've decided what your necessary expenses are for the month. You've worked out, once you take that away from your income, how much you have in your money pot, and you've decided how much of that money pot you're gonna set aside for savings each month. And then whatever is left over, that is your actual like fun money that you can spend on everything else. But not all of those things are fun, obviously, because you gotta buy like groceries, cleaning supplies, petrol, things that just aren't fun also have to come out of your fun money. But the fun money is essentially your budget for the month. Like that's what you have to spend throughout the month, not including your savings, not including your necessary essentials like bills and uh, loan payments and all of that kind of thing. What's left in your budget is like the money you have to spend day to day. You have your budget, that's all very well and good, but what I want you to do every single day of at least the first three months, I did it for a year and a half because that's how bad I was with overspending. What I want you to do is keep a record of where that money is going. You can do that the old fashioned way by carrying around a little notebook and a pen. You can use an app. I like this app called Spending because it helps you to keep everything in categories and that just works for me and the way that my brain works but I want you to write down everything you spend. And that might sound tedious, but it's definitely worth it in the end. At the end of every month, I want you to total all of those things up and put them into my budget planning worksheet. You are able to see how much you are spending every month on necessary items, which there's not much you can do about that. That's things like groceries, toiletries, cleaning supplies, things that you have to have in order to go about your daily life. You're also gonna be able to see how much you spend each month on luxury items, and that's gonna include things like going out for meals, getting your nails done, clothes, shoes, makeup, that kind of thing. And then you're also going to be able to see how much you spend on unexpected purchases. Those are going to be things like if your car breaks down or if you need um, emergency dental treatment, things that you just couldn't prepare for. And with that information, you're going to be able to see where your money is going. Are you spending the vast majority of your monthly budget on luxury items? And could you maybe cut that down a little bit? 
That way you'll have more money left over at the end of the month and you can pop that into your savings too. And if you do that and if you work on decreasing the amount that you're spending each month on luxury items and putting more and more into your savings account, then guess what? Your savings are going to grow super quickly. I know this has been a lot of information. I know that many of you might be sitting there feeling like, but trust me, it's not that difficult. I've done this. Like I said, this was the exact system I used to get myself away from debt and into a place of complete financial security. When I think back to how many sleepless nights I had worrying about money, worrying about how I was gonna pay my bills, worrying about like how I was gonna put petrol in my car, I just could not imagine going back to that state of constant concern and anxiety. And I just want all of you guys to know it doesn't take much. It doesn't take a lot of time. It doesn't take a lot of effort. It just takes a little bit of focus, a little bit of effort, and you know, a dollop of willpower and restraint. And then you can get yourself out of debt if that's the place that you're in right now and to a place of abundance. Like trust me, if I can do it, people will attest to how bad I was with money. If I can do it, you definitely can do it too. Don't feel overwhelmed by this video. Like I said, all of these steps are in black and white set out for you over on my blog. I'm gonna link it down below along with that printable worksheet that really did make a huge difference for me. So I'm giving away that to you for free and I just hope that this and that and all of these things combined can help you to get a handle on your finances. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you want me to continue the money managing mini series, go ahead and let me know in the comments or give this video a thumbs up. What are some of the struggles that you have when it comes to managing your money and budgeting? Like what would you like me to talk more on? Because I wanna give you answers to the questions that you have. I wanna help you as much as I can. I need to shut up now because my voice is going up and talking so much. But thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my No Buy You videos if that's something you're interested in. And until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much. You are amazing people and I will see you all soon. Bye.